No one respects Dave Rubin compilation part one. Say that uh, to dumb it down just a tiny bit for the average folk, I would say that I think most people at this point think Trump likes America, and I think most people at this point think the Democrats don't. We, this whole thing was a sham in the first place. Well, if you think that was good commentary, and you'd be the <laughs> only one. You'd be the only <laughs> one. <laughs> you, have all, you have this on the right, too. Oh my God. Wait, is that his own show? Oh no, it's on the Daily Wire. Oh God, they're like right to his face, dude. They really mistreat him. Like, how does he not know that no one respects him? That's so sad. I mean, it's a 47 minute. <laughs> He's on the phone talk. for like 5% well, of can, this baby, I love interview. You. Talk to you tomorrow. By the way. So bad. If I were him. Look at his face. Look at his fucking face. He's like, Larry King was Dave Rubin's idol. Okay, I know this from like personal, my personal relationship with him. Imagine having your personal hero fucking flex on you. He, he's got the long socks. He put the fucking, pulled his pants all the way up to his nipples just to fucking flex on you by having a full phone conversation. I do have a personal relationship with Ruben. What's the backstory there? Um, I worked with him. With Dave, um, you know, there's enough moments where he's misstepped where they just feel like, okay, we got a wounded antelope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're trying to pick him yeah. off. And so let me ask the question again. Who is tolerant? That was literally, that was Joe Rogan trying to defend Dave Rubin, by the way. That was Joe Rogan defending Dave Rubin from the gross attacks that Sam Cedar had unleashed against him. I don't know why Joe doesn't like Sam Cedar. I guess maybe Sam Cedar is not like, like not bro -y enough for him or something. I don't know, but he likes Dave Rubin or not, not Dave Rubin. He likes David Pakman. Like Sam Cedar probably says some shit about Joe Rogan and then he never forgets. Same with me. Like I, I will never be on the Joe Rogan show because I've talked so much shit about him. Appeals to the same bro dudes that I appeal to in a, in a very similar way. So let me ask the question again. Who is tolerant? Well, here's the surprise. It's actually those scary right-wingers that the media and the universities demonize every day. Uh -uh. Yeah, dude, those scary right-wingers are so tolerant, dude. Yo, they're so tolerant. Yeah, there's a lot of anti-Semitism that I wasn't aware of so until funny. I said I was gonna interview you. Like, people oh, are like, yeah, so there's, there's some, well, there's some assholes on the internet. Steven said, they hate Dave Rubin because he's a gay man with the wrong opinion. Dave Rubin is gay? No! He got a husband? I did not know. I was in his presence. Like the way he's operating there is like a 14 year old. Like, ew, I got gay cooties. Like what the fuck, dude? That was so bad. Rubin is gay? Oh, ew, I went to his house. Am I gay now? Like, <laughs> no! He got a husband? I did not know. I was in his presence. Will you make room? Like, yeah, everybody knows when you're around, when you're around a gay man and they, and they breathe on you, it's like COVID is fake, but uh, you know what's not fake? Gay cooties. I'm craving some cock, brother. Will you bake Ruben a wedding cake? So, I, so the answer is no. And the okay. reason I won't is because as a religious Jew, I, yeah. I do not participate in activities that I believe are sinful. If we were having an anniversary party, would you come? You know, honestly, I'd have to think about it. I'd have to think about it. <laughs> What's the saddest, what's the saddest thing that like every single one of Dave's allies have to, uh, you know, uh, at least be like somewhat homophobic, if not like straight up fucking homophobic because, you know, they need to keep up appearances or the fact that he actually wants Ben Shapiro to attend his anniversary. Like, I think the saddest part about it is like, why the fuck would you ever want Ben Shapiro to attend an important life event? Like, what do you want him to fucking debate your, your guests? Like, why? Why would, who would ever, who in the right mind would ever invite Ben to anything, dude? Um, actually, I do not need to send you, I do not need to pass the salt over to you. I'm Ben Shapiro, hypothetically. Let's keep going. So that's interesting to me, because yeah, that's, that's a different thing. Well, it, not really, because- Back from that, okay, we'll talk to got, you. Uh, but Dave, if your answer is we're gonna all right yeah I'm we're gonna, gonna burn everything down people won't I gotta it. cut you off dave all right dave they're a corporation they don't give a fuck they just want to sell chicken sandwiches they're only trying to sling chicken sandwiches i'm not i'm gonna dave rubin i'm gonna make them in my home good good you and your fucking husband who's probably so embarrassed that poor guy god only knows who dave Re dave rubin married somebody who's probably Oh, I know him. I, I know Dave's husband, whose name is also Dave, by the way.
uh, which is pretty funny, but uh, he's great, or he was great. I don't know if he's like a, a shitlord now. He used to be a producer on the Young Turks as well. He's a great person, a uh, brilliant chef, very good at cooking. Dave and Dave, yeah, that's real. That's homophobic, you moron. What? What is he talking about? Anyway, let's watch. The it is part like giving. Dude, what is happening in my chat today? Yo, <laughs> are people all right today, dude? <laughs> birth, and it's especially something I haven't read your book yet. Right. I know I generally. Sent, I sent you a very it, nice uh, inscription on that copy. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I would have read it. Can I make a bold prediction? Sure. 30 years from now, we're going to be sitting here doing this, hopefully in a mm -hmm. bigger garage. <laughs> Maybe. May well have moved me on the, uh, on the abortion issue, and I think I may have moved you on coming to an anniversary party. What, what do you think about that? I think it would be unlikely that you'd move me. I'm a classical. Oh. Dude, it's not sad. It's awesome, dude. Yo, fuck it. I don't give a shit, dude. Listen, you rarely ever see people get disrespected with the same brand of bigotry that they espouse. Like, you rarely ever get to see that. It, this is awesome. Like, you cannot look at this in a vacuum as, like, a gay man who is a, a victim to homophobia. You just can't do that. He's done so much to legitimize and defend that way of thinking and uses his background to claim that like because he's gay like he's liberal and and all these other people are actually very tolerant to him when they're literally not they're not tolerant to him at all it's so funny oh he deserves worse it's great why did you never tell us dave rubin used to be at tyt it's like a pretty well-known thing liberal a free thinker net because and then people like to get sneaky and use no i'm a classic liberal yeah, because oh, it's... Oh, what is that? What is that? Exactly. You're a fucking Republican. They call it classical liberal is a very... It's it's a, it's a misleading term. It's one of those where I hear people say that and I go, well, that guy's Republican. Is there a difference huh. between, say, what Sam Cedar does to Dave Rubin? That mental incompetent, do you mean that they're the ignorant or that they're, that they're mentally Mock ill or no, cognitively limited? Cognitively limited. Do you sense, though, that some in the media... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's so bad. <laughs> When Ape Gang calls you fucking cognitively limited, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. Sam Cedar is mocking the cognitively limited. That's awesome, dude. Dude, that's so funny. Yo, when you're trying to defend your homie and you're like, come on, bro, lay <laughs> go easy on him, dude. Come on, he's cognitively limited. <laughs> you sense, though, that some in the media are uh rooting for the collapse of the economy and uh we didn't get trump mm. on ukraine impeachment blah, i don't blah, think blah. so that this no. you don't think so huh no we have to decide what level of sickness are we willing to live with so to speak to move ahead and open the country because i don't know how much longer we can do this david that sounds ridiculous come on you've got a well, there, we have to figure pandemic. out what that level is cause this or, yeah. But at the at whose risk? Yours or mine? You you it's okay if you die, right? Fucking own, dude. I like talking about ideas. Uh, I like talking about ideas. An idea revolution. The right ideas and the good ideas. 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 I like talking about ideas. We took the brain of a 25-year-old black man and the brain of a 25-year-old white man. What is it that they're doing that? No, different sizes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah! Remember this? When he had Stefan Maldi meme on to just straight up do phrenology. And then <laughs> this is this is the question you got to ask. Like, is Dave Rubin so stupid that he doesn't know that the person in front of him is literally a white supremacist engaging in the age old timeless classic? OK, phrenology, skull science for for the layman or, or race realism is one of the best and, and timeless classics of the, the white supremacist racist uh, piece of shit. It's very easy to just recognize that. You're like, what? Uh, there are different sizes for the black brain versus the, the white brain? I, I'm sorry, what is going on? Is he so stupid that he doesn't understand this? Or is he genuinely a horrific creep who is uh, doing this on purpose? I have to say that my brain is still in recovery mode from taking in so many high levels. No, this is not racism. This is classical liberalism. Yeah. Liberalism from a time when you could own uh, private property, i.e. slaves. Like, I'm a liberal from the time when uh, black people were not considered human beings, but instead property. 
Like that kind of, you know, classical liberalism, brother. This is, what do you mean? As I've said to you before, authoritarian the love authoritarianism. Shapiro, will you bake Ruben a wedding cake? The answer is no. The very implication that we exist to do things for the greater good is totally antithetical to the purpose of being human. Bolsar, uh, Bolsar no movement goes on forever, right? Eventually it either spins out of control in a horrific way or it, it perhaps winds down or something in the middle. If we were having an anniversary party, would you come? You know, honestly, I'd have to think about it in the same See, way. So that's interesting. Dave Rubin is basic proof that you are, if you are an average looking white dude and you can string sentences together and you can have like the confidence of an average white guy, you can literally get conservatives on board with whatever the fuck you're saying. Like, it's like the Jesse Lee Peterson phenomena. Like there are people out there who listen to Jesse Lee Peterson and think that he's brilliant and think that he's great. Like he's a truth teller, right? And I've always been really surprised by those people. Like, who the fuck watches them? It's just biases. Like, as long as you are biased to their point of view, you just assume that they're fucking brilliant. And you assume that they're smart because they are, uh, they are confirming your biases. People who are saying you're the same, Azan, uh, the difference is I have crippling insecurities about my uh, level of intelligence. And I routinely tell you that I'm not a smart person like all the time. I don't have the exaggerated swagger of Ben Shabibo. I don't have the exaggerated swagger of, of even a Tim Pool. Those guys are very confident in their, in their ignorance. Like they can just say whatever the fuck without second guessing themselves at all. To me. Yeah, so I, that's that's a different thing. I want you to continue to say you're, you're a liberal. <laughs> you're of great use. No way, I'm not doing it for your use I of me. I'm doing, I'm doing it for myself. <laughs> competition would start kicking in. All I ever wanted was exact equality under the law. Now we're equal. You yeah. could call me well, a that's what it right feels now. Like it wouldn't me. mean anything to me. Between UPS. What? I had not seen that one, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> He's such a fucking cuck. <laughs> But I'll tell you one other thing about it, which was that Rest in peace. Trump and Melania, they love each other. They, they are actually in love. Several times he referred to her as honey and he put his hand across the table and put his hand right. on her when he was speaking to her. And, and he had me, re he said, he said, honey, you could just tell her. He, right? he said, honey, what do you think about this? And then he had me tell her what I had said about Bloomberg. And she actually thought it was interesting. But like, if they weren't in love, when he put no, his you hand can tell on her. Body language is very yeah, yeah, so yeah. I don't know what it is. You know, you see those videos of them public. What? What is this, dude? This is so awesome. Yo, he sucks so bad. <laughs> this is awesome. And she kind of pulls away. I don't know if they were like playing some. Wait, doesn't that mean that he loves this person? Because he just did it. Well, you could tell that uh, Dave loves this person. Also, what is this? A fucking plane uh, wing or something? Who is this person, dude? Wait, is that Jordan Belfort? Oh, bleh, bleh. that's the Wolf of Wall Street, dude. Oh, God. Oh, man. Is he a shark? Mark now he that's what he does now he fucking does like i can't believe dave rubin is cheating on his husband by uh loving another man right here you know because that's the way that's the only way to know but like if they weren't in love when he put his no, hand on her language is very yeah, yeah so yeah. i don't know what it is you know you see those videos of them publicly and she kind of pulls away or i don't know if they were like playing some weird game for the media on that and he's very soft Calm. the way he speaks he's, yes humble he's very thoughtful deliberate the guy could have literally done anything he wanted to do for the rest of his life and i wish i had woken up to this earlier even than i did because it wasn't until i never said i was supporting trump really until september he somehow is the last line between us and complete totalitarian lunacy and yeah. yet donald trump is the last line between us and complete totalitarian lunacy the guy who utilized constitution free zones to escalate legitimate grievances that people had against police brutality straight up using unmarked federal agents the guy who greatly accelerated our criminal justice systems dehumanizing cruel and unusual punishment for immigrants just by virtue of existing on inside of the u.s borders that guy is, uh, you know, the final defender. Unless I'm nuts, that's pretty much where we are. And Trump looks at me, he's sitting, he looks up and he goes, uh, goes ah, do I recognize you? I recognize you. And I said, oh, well, I'm on, uh, I'm on Tucker a lot. He goes, oh, that must be it. Then he turns to David, my husband. He goes, he goes, who are you? David goes, well, I'm his husband. He goes, husband? He goes, you know what your only problem is? Your problem is you guys are too handsome. You guys are just too handsome. That's your problem. Then he goes, Melania. He goes, honey, honey, can you believe it? These guys are gay. Can you believe it? He goes, 
Oh, I, I should have waited to finish that one, dude. That's a great video. Chinese economy to overtake the U.S. by 2028 due to COVID. Brother, that's why they released the virus on the world, brother. I knew it. I knew it. They're basically admitting it. They're flexing on us. 